this is the part where you can blow it. If you overstretch this piece as you're peeling it back, it won't fit in properly. Oh. Really good. I wouldn't notice that there was a missing piece. It looks good. I was talking about the wallpaper. <sighs> if you guys didn't know, I rolled my eyes. <laughs> my customer is about about 85. German lady. She goes, beautiful. I said, thank you. What do you think about the paper? She said, beautiful. I said, forget it. See? I'll zoom in. If you can see the crease, I I can't even. Yeah, yeah. Just give them a fair. Back up a bit so they can <laughs> see. And, and be fair to the viewers so that they can see. Sorry. So that they can take a good hard look. My viewers are very hard on me sometimes. Okay. If you go too fast, they criticize you. If you go too slow, they criticize you. But that's fair. It's all fair. I'm just saying. I want to give you a fair... Now you just... Here. You just hold that in. Now there's something called overdoing it. Don't be crazy and overdo it. Leave it. If you have any questions about doing this, Leave a comment. Tell me how you do it. You, you're probably thinking, why did you do it? That's a subject for another video. Okay? Um, let's just say somebody got red ink on the paper. Let's just say that. And rather than cut down this $187 piece of wallpaper, we spliced it. But it's pretty gutsy to do it right near the knees of somebody using this. Right or wrong? So if you know what you do, and you have the confidence, go for it, do it. Because otherwise you gotta take the sheet down anyway. You may as well have the guts to do it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.